we are recording. Okay, so it literally takes three clicks to make a Lightroom preset and let me show you how it's done. So after you're done with the edit, just simply click on uh, develop new preset, give it a name and click create and the preset is created. But it's not that simple because not every edit is a preset. And in this video, I'm, we're gonna be talking about four main things. First of all, what are the preconditions? What do you need in order to create a preset? Second thing, there are different types of presets. Third thing, how to make sure that you actually make really good presets that can be used by you, by others, you can actually sell them as well. And the fourth thing, how to make money by selling the presets. I'm gonna be giving all my tips that I use in order to um, sell the presets and maybe there's gonna be something for you as well. So stick around, there's time codes below, so feel free to jump around the sections. This is both for beginners and also for more advanced photographers. So yeah, let's get into it, let's go. So good to have you here guys. My name is Tom Sirix and first things first, what do we need in order to create the presets? Well, there's actually three things. First of all, shoot all your images in RAW um, because that will just allow you to have the flexibility of editing. If you try to edit JPEGs, they are already edited by your camera or by someone else and that just doesn't work out too well. So if you're not familiar on how to do that, go out and try and then come back and, and, and watch this video again. Second thing, I would recommend you to have a lot of different types of images, different scenes, different moods and colors and so on. So you can have a huge collection of the photos and that you can apply the presets and see how they work. And the third thing, probably the most important one before you start creating proper uh, presets, make sure that you practice a lot, you edit a lot of images, you try different things that you actually understand what the basic editing panel is, how the tone curves work, how the hue saturation and, and luminance works. I've made a bunch of videos about editing um, in Lightroom, so make sure you check out the other videos. But these are the three basic things that I think you should know uh, before um, creating the presets yourself. All right, let's talk about the second thing. In my mind, there's three types of presets. Ones are the functional ones where you adjust the, you know, the color and, and highlights and shadows and, and you save it and apply it to a lot of pictures. Then there's the stylized ones where you have a little bit of mood and you have a, a certain look to the, to the image and your style sort of. And then the third ones are the ones that are more artistic. And you as a creator are free to express your uh, personal view. Obviously, you know, um, I, I never recommend this for a beginner to really go crazy with the editing and, and make some ultra edit crazy things, you know, because usually it doesn't look too good. But if you wanna, you know, have this certain mood and more stylized, then go for it. Okay, and the thing number three, and this is really, really important, you have to make sure that the preset is universal. That's why I told you it is really important that you have different kinds of images. I've created these uh, presets of Copenhagen. They're really popular because of my POV videos. As you can see, you know, you can have different tones and different looks and they, all of them pretty much work out of the box um, on these particular images. If I go here, this also looks pretty cool and the edits look really nice. And if I go forward, let me just, you know, select some whatever fog or or whatever look immediately out of the box creates this moody look. This is really important and this is what will differ you from other creators. If you look at my website and you actually go to the presets section, as you can see a lot of people just say that they're very happy with the presets giving five stars. You can't just have super crazy preset that you cannot apply to any anything else than just that one image. You have to make sure that the presets are universal and that they be, can be applied to different types of images. Because it can be possible also that, you know, you overdo. For example, here I have two examples. You have, uh, I just put bad. You see, this is super overly edited. The, uh, the, if I go to the HSL, I'm probably gonna see, yeah, in saturation, the magentas and purples and whatnot, and probably the hues. It, this is just screwed up, this is really bad. It might work on one set of images, but where you have people, maybe it doesn't work out at all. Here we also have, you see bad number two, 
the color of the hand is completely gone so here also on the face certain types of images and here you know it just doesn't work so test it out on different type of images and make sure they're universal if you do that then people will buy your presets they will be happy they will give you five stars and you know you as well be will be able to use those presets on so many images and that's going to be really great for you and for others okay and the last thing how to make more sales well as i told you first of all make sure that your presets are universal that they're really good and handcrafted second thing use it on your own images showcase your work on instagram or uh, on youtube or whatever the platform you have and i think the third thing and this is probably the most difficult one you need to have an audience where you can showcase this you know you have to kind of do some kind of a marketing because if the people are not going to see your work if they're not going to see your presets and that you're selling them then there is no point i'll be making more lightroom tutorial videos and and show you how i um, make presets from scratch so make sure you know you stick around and uh, follow up on me on on YouTube and also on Instagram and um, yeah I'll see you all in the next video really really soon bye bye